everyone welcome or welcome back to the channel waking up early this is something i have struggled with for a long time sometimes i manage to wake up and stay awake but sometimes i don't i've noticed that when i have something were really important to do like giving a presentation or going to work early or going to uni early if something important is there i definitely wake up and stay awake for the rest of the day and i even feel energetic and enthusiastic and do everything perfectly on that day but if i don't have a structure to my day if i don't know what i'm doing after i wake up there is a 100% possibility that i go back to bed i either hit hit the snooze button and go back to bed or i just do the scrolling mindlessly over my phone as soon as i wake up but i found a solution for that and i'm hoping that it will help you guys too to stay awake or do something really important if you by chance wake up early or if you want to wake up early intentionally the first hour after we wake up is called the victory hour this is where you have to win your day and win over yourself so the first one hour you have to focus completely upon yourself this hour is for you before you get into all the confusion and all the complexities of the day ahead of you before you go to anything your messages your emails your work your relationships or anything else this first hour is completely for you to focus upon yourself and when you have a structure to that one hour after you wake up it is easier for you to follow it rather than doing something haphazardly doing something randomly what i read is that if you divide your first one hour into three slots that is the first 20 minutes the second 20 minutes and the last 20 minutes and give it some value like give it some structure then you will be able to follow through that and you will be able to go through your day with a lot more energy and enthusiasm so the first 20 minutes is for you to move move your body as soon as you wake up make it a point to exercise not just normally but you have to sweat through that exercise why i'm saying sweating is our body has a lot of cortisol in it this is the stress hormone which has been building up over the years over the last few days last few months and it's important to reduce that stress hormone to reduce the levels of stress that we are facing if we don't reduce to manage that levels of cortisol in our body it will end up in making us sick making us unhealthy or making us uh have body aches headache or anything that that will become a bigger problem later on when you sweat this cortisol le uh, levels will reduce the stress hormone levels will reduce and your body will produce important neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin which are essential for your body to be happy energetic enthusiastic and it will give you the force or the drive to to um keep doing things that you are supposed to do the first 20 minutes you are supposed to be sweating your body move your body it may not be something like running or anything you can also do something like stretching exercises or yoga which can help you to sweat and uh, reduce the level of the cortisol hormone in your body and the next 20 minutes is to reflect upon yourself your career your goals whatever it is that you want to reflect on that is the time for reflection this you can do by either praying meditation journaling use this 20 minutes to do all these things which can help you reflect upon your personality what you are doing with your life what you are doing with your career what you want to do with it everything you have to use this 20 minutes to reflect upon you as a person as a professional and you can also use this time to journal your feelings your thoughts your emotions sometimes we have a lot of emotions trapped in us and these emotions stay there forever if you don't let them out and because of these emotions we act in ways that we even don't understand and when you journal your thoughts your emotions and this will help you to let go of those things that you have been holding on to it will help you understand why you're behaving a particular way and journaling is also a way of uh, reliving those happy moments way of reliving those important moments of your life and a realization or a, a feeling of happiness when you read them later some other time and the next 20 minutes the final 20 minutes of your first hour after waking up 
should be or you have to use this to grow to grow as a person professionally or personally there is a lot to learn still about us about our our uh, relations how to maintain relationships with others how to speak well how to dress well there's a lot that you can learn or uh, you can also improve yourself professionally how you can do something uh, with more precision with more um, clarity how you can do something better you can learn all this in this last 20 minutes of your first hour dedicate this 20 minutes to for your growth personally and professionally and when you improve your knowledge base you become more and more valuable to yourself and to your society and when you keep focusing on yourself for the first one hour of your day this will help you have more clarity more self awareness and this will also improve your confidence to go about your day with more energy confidence and enthusiasm so this is how you structure your first one hour of the day after you wake up for you to have a very amazing day and to go on about your day with more energy and enthusiasm as i have already mentioned in my previous videos that it it takes only 66 days for any habit or any new pattern to become a part of you if you follow through this victory hour or this 20 by 20 by 20 method for at least 66 days you no longer have to do it with any force or effort you don't even have to use that alarm for you to wake up at that particular time and it becomes a part of you and that will be your second nature and you can do those things naturally in a flow state so i hope this video will help you to wake up early and create a structure for the first few hours of your day so that you can wake up and stay awake and look forward to your day with great energy and enthusiasm So I'll see you in this video right here. Until then, you take care.